good morning we are studying the wheat uh, flower aging and I have already discussed that there are two main purposes of aging number one is to uh, remove the yellowish color from the fresh flower and second is to improve the um, handling properties of the dough we have already covered the bleaching and now in this lecture we will uh, know the mechanism of the improvers how they improve the dough actually the freshly milled wheat freshly milled wheat uh, flour is uh, pale yellow and it is having the sticky uh, character it shows sticky characteristics when we knead the dough so the dough handling is very difficult in case of the freshly uh, milled uh, wheat so in the previous lecture we have uh, converted the yellow pale uh, yellow uh, yellow uh, pigment xanthophyll and we have produced the white flower by using some chemicals or by natural aging and uh, now we have to improve the dough to remove the stickiness which we observe during the kneading of the dough so actually <coughs> there are various chemicals which uh, uh, improves the dough handling of uh, the freshly meat uh, fre freshly uh, milled uh, flour and uh, there are some chemicals which uh, act both as bleaching as well as improving agents these are the chlorine gas, chlorine dioxide, nitrosyl chloride, uh, chloride, and so on. And we have two categories of the dough improvers. Number one is the, the, the dough improvers, and the second is the flower improver. As the name itself suggests that dough, dough improvers means they act when we need when we add water to the flower and when we need the flower they act at that time but in case of the uh, flower improvers they act when they are mixed to the flower so how do they improve the wheat flour. Previously, it was uh, thought that uh, the, the the dough improvers uh, they inhibit the proteolytic enzymes present in the flour, and uh, this uh, helps uh, to remove the sticky nature of the dough, and it improves the dough handling properties. But recently, it was found that actually uh, the dough improvers they increase the number of in, uh, intramolecular disulfide bonds SS bonds dough improvers simply oxidize the SH bond which is present in uh, the gluten protein suppose if there is a chain and uh, in this chain there are uh, sulfur containing amino acids and they have SH bonds so these uh, SH bonds are occupied the dough improvers they oxidize this SH bond and make this sulfur available for the disulfide bond so when the other uh, polymer comes in contact with this polymer this free sulfur will now react with the sulfur of another chain so there uh, will be a formation of network with the help of the SS bonds as shown in this figure so this is the actual reason how disulfide uh, uh, oxidation uh, oxidation of SH bonds and formation of the SS bonds helps to form uh, a gluten network with the help of the two improvers there are other uh, uh, 
ingredients additives i mean to say uh, which are used uh, to improve the, uh, the flower properties soybean flour is added sometimes organic salts are added uh, and uh, for the growth of uh, the yeast uh, ammonia is added and <coughs> hydrochloride gums are sometimes used and uh, to retard the retrogradation carboxymethyl cellulose methyl cellulose they are added to the dough flour they retard the uh, bread staling so this was all about uh, the uh, dough uh, improvers uh, i hope you have understood this if you have any question you can reach me uh, through these <coughs> thank you very much